Hi everyone, I'm Chef Leroy and welcome to My Cozy Kitchen. How you guys doing today? I'm doing fantastic. The weather here is really hot. It's a good day to do some indoor cooking, although I do have an outdoor cooking method that I'm going to add to this cooking today. What I'm doing today, I am doing a little bit of a non-traditional Korean barbecue. I'm doing Korean barbecue chicken tacos. And I am using a pre-made Korean barbecue sauce. And this is their sweet and savory sauce. Picked it up at the Asian market. And so for the ingredients today, obviously we need chicken. So I've got four chicken breasts here. This equals two pounds of chicken. All right, so that's the one part. And then I'm also, with this whole meal, I'm going to make a Asian slaw using cabbage, carrots, or a carrot, a pepper, some green onion, lime juice, and then I've got a marinade that I'm going to do with this. Oh, I've also got some uh, cilantro as well. This is one ounce of fresh cilantro. So you'll need a big mixing bowl. You'll need your knuckle buster to shred your carrot up, or you can use your food processor if you'd like. And of course, you'll need a peeler to peel your carrot and a knife. Now, let me go over the ingredients for my Korean barbecue that I'm doing. So I've got everything written down. And my plan is to take the chicken breast and I'm going to put it out on my grill, all right? Now, if you don't have a grill, you can do it in a saute pan, that's just fine. So what we wanna to do to start with is I'm going to take some sesame oil and I'm going to drizzle it over my chicken breast. All right, so that's the first thing we're going to do. Go ahead and drizzle a little bit of your sesame oil on each chicken, just like so. And then we're gonna flip it over and make sure that oil's on both sides. Just kind of flip them over and coat them down with that oil, okay? So that is one of the first steps you wanna do and just let them sit. We'll get all nice and beautiful for that grill. And we'll get outside and we'll show you how that grill is all set up out there too. Actually, I've got it already fired up, so it should be nice and hot when we get these chicken on. We want it nice and hot out there, okay? All right, so that's that part. Now, to make the actual filling for my tacos, I'm going to use a pepper. I'm going to use a yellow onion, which I have right over here. Sorry, I'm off the camera here for a second. So I've got a yellow onion, we've got some minced garlic, and that's gonna be part of the base of our mix for the tacos, the chicken part of the tacos. And we also will use our Korean barbecue sauce as the main ingredient for that. All right, so the first thing we wanna do is get those vegetables chopped up. For my chicken filling, I'm using a yellow onion. I'm gonna go ahead and cut that. I'm only using half of this yellow onion. Cut it in half and peel it. Okay, so we'll use half this onion, all right? The other one we'll put aside for another meal. So we're gonna dice it, okay? We're gonna follow the grain around the onion just like so when we dice it. Now I want these to be a little bit bigger dice, not small dice, so more slightly medium dice. So then make sure you cut your slices a little wider. I like to go through the middle like this with my knife. That peel out of there. And across. Okay? Just like that. Okay, I always get to the end here, I drop it to the board, and that's it. Okay? So this can go right into your pan. I don't have my oil in there yet, but I will put that in there when I get my pepper cut. Spoons off. Okay. Pepper. Cut it through the middle, through the stem. I'm going to show you another cutting method with my Asian slaw that I'm making for this dish. So I'll show you how to cut that pepper, but go ahead and seed it. So just pop that seed part out. Let's go ahead and cut these in strips or julienne slices. 
We want them to be about the same size as our onion. Okay, I'll cut across. Just like that. And it goes in the pot. Okay, so you have your vegetables ready to go. Then we're going to add a tablespoon of sesame oil. Just like that. And I'm going to use two teaspoons of minced garlic. If you have fresh, you can use like one clove. So I'm gonna use two teaspoons of minced garlic. And this is ready to be sauteed with your chicken. But before we can get our chicken, we need to grill it. So that's our next step. All right, let's get outside with that chicken and get it on that grill. Okay guys, I'm out here at my grill and my grill is at 360 degrees right now, nice and hot. So we're gonna go ahead and get those chicken on the grill and get them nice and marked up. All right, let's get that camera in closer so you can see what's going on. Okay, we wanna make sure that our grate is at the lowest level in the grill, okay? So you get nice marking on your chicken. Should get a nice sizzle there, there we go, look at that. Ooh. Now again, if you don't have a charcoal grill or a propane grill, just go ahead and do it on your stove inside. Uh, cast iron is really good to use if you have a cast iron pan. I would highly recommend that. I'm gonna shut this down and let them cook a bit. Okay, I'm back at the grill here, and so what I wanna show you is if your chicken is ready, it will flip really easily. So if you grab a corner of your chicken breast and start to pull up on it, it should come away from the grill really easy. If it doesn't, it's still sticking, like I know that this one is here, and this one is, and this one is also. You wanna let it cook longer, okay? That will, um, the chicken will uh, re release from the grates is when it's cooked long enough. So just go ahead and let that cook. I'm gonna shut that down and uh, we're gonna go ahead and work on our Asian slaw. All right, so cooking in the kitchen is also multitasking. So while my chicken is cooking on the grill outside, I'm gonna work on my Asian slaw. So what do I need for Asian slaw? Well. I need a mixing bowl, I need a measuring cup, I need a couple spoons, a teaspoon and a tablespoon. And then the main ingredients are cabbage, I'm using green cabbage, that's about a one pound head. After you core it, it'll be probably a little bit less than a pound. I have one medium to large sweet bell pepper, I'm using yellow. I've got some green onion, I've got a large juicer carrot two limes, and I've got one ounce of cilantro. So in this bowl, I put this together yesterday, all right? I had it in the refrigerator overnight. Just helps all the ingredients mix together, okay? Now, this is a fairly long list of ingredients that go into this marinade for your cabbage and, uh, or your Asian slaw, okay? So we have, to start with, we have sesame oil. And I'll give you the ingredients here, the or increments. I have one tablespoon of sesame oil. You can use whatever style you choose. I have four tablespoons of soy sauce. Again, use whatever variety you like. I have six tablespoons of fish sauce. Now this is the kind I have. This is actually a Korean sauce. This stuff is incredible. I found it online. I know fish sauce sounds kind of interesting. Oh, it's fishy, and actually it's not. It really adds great flavor to your marinades and your different sauces that you make in, when you're doing Asian dishes. All right, next up we have marin, which is right here. I've got four tablespoons of marin. I've got four tablespoons of rice vinegar. I've got two teaspoons of minced garlic. And again, this is all in the mix. I've got uh, two teaspoons of ground ginger. You can use fresh as well. You just have to be careful how much you put in there and you want to chop it really small. Then I've got two teaspoons of, oh, I'm sorry, one teaspoon of crushed red pepper. And then in the actual slaw, 
I'm going to squeeze, oh, I'm sorry. Well, I'm going to squeeze two limes in there, but I also have sesame seed in there. So I've got one tablespoon of roasted sesame seed. So that is the basic marinade for your cabbage slaw. Okay. So Asian slaws, we're going to call it. All right. So in order to get it all together, we got to prep our vegetables. So let's go ahead and get that carrot peeled up and we'll get everything else chopped. So I'll get that camera down here so you can see exactly how I do it all. Okay guys, so we are ready to go work on our Asian slaw. So first thing you want to do is peel off any of the kind of bad looking leaves on the outside of the cabbage. Okay. Then go ahead and cut it straight through the middle. Just like so. Core is right here. Okay, so we want to we're gonna cut it one more time. We want to cut this down into small julienne anyway, in pieces. So go ahead and quarter your cabbage and then just cut right down into the core like that. Pull the core out. Okay. Now these smaller pieces that come off, you can use these in there. So it's no big deal. And just cut it nice and thin in small julienne strips, thin slices, just like that. Okay. And in the bowl. And this is going in tacos. So you want to make sure that everything is nice and small because I'm using a six inch flour tortilla and you don't have a lot of room. So you don't want to have really big slices. Okay. Now you're probably saying, wow, that's kind of a lot of cabbage, but it will shrink down a little bit as it sweats out. Once you put that vinegar in, um, and all those salty seasonings in there, it'll sweat out a little bit too. So you'll get some shrinkage from the cabbage. Okay, there you have it, all the cabbages. Shred it up, put all of it in your bowl. And by now the chicken should be ready on the grill. So I'm gonna go back outside and pull that chicken breast off my grill. All right, see you in a second here. All right, I'm back outside. We're gonna go ahead and pull those chicken breasts off. They look so good. Ooh, excited. Go ahead and set them on your tray. They are ready to be cut up and added to your vegetables in your Korean barbecue sauce. All right, we're gonna go ahead and close the grill down. All right, so we're ready to go back inside with our chicken. And what I'll do with my grill is I'm going to just leave my vents open. I got the bottom wide open and I got the top wide open. And we're just gonna let it Burn out is what we're going to do. I have a little bit of charcoal left in there, but I'm just going to let it cook all the way out. All right. All right, let's go ahead and peel that carrot. All right, go ahead and now these are already trimmed on the bottom, so you don't really have to worry about any greens, but I like to trim them flat anyway, because they're usually really dried out at the end, but go ahead and trim both top and bottom off. And we are going to use our knuckle buster right here and shred her up. We're going to shred it right into the bowl. Usually when I start getting really small like this, which is a really tiny piece, I'll just chop it up with a knife. Okay. So go ahead and clean your shredder off. Perfect. There you go. It's going to be fantastic slaw. I'm excited. Okay. So next thing is our pepper. Now, when I was telling you about cutting them two different ways, I meant to do it this way. So we're going to cut the top off through the stem. Okay. Just like that. And we're going to cut the bottom end off and make it flat like this. Okay. Set that off to the side. Now you want to go ahead and cut your pepper in half right through the middle and then you can run your knife right along the inside like this and you get all the seed out of there just like that okay and the reason I'm doing that is I want these pieces to be really thin with my slaw so everything kind of matches up let's go ahead and run your knife through there now these other pieces, although this one has some bad stuff, but this other stuff here, 
you can go ahead and just add that to your chicken dish that you have in your pot. Just go ahead and dice this part up here in any of these pieces here and go ahead and put it right in with your pot with your chicken. All right, so go ahead and take this part here and I'm gonna cut these into really th thin strips, just like this. Okay, and I'll show you what that looks like. Nice and thin, see? And go ahead and put that right in with your slaw. And everything goes in the bowl. All right. Give my sous chef Louis some snacks. He likes peppers a lot. Here you go. There you go, good boy. Okay. So there you have it. There's your cabbage, your carrot, and your peppers. Okay, so next thing we're going to do is work on the, on the cilantro that we're gonna put in there. Okay, so let's go ahead and chop the cilantro up. Let's put it on your board. This is one ounce of fresh cilantro. Okay, I like to try to roll it up in a bit of a ball here. As I can and chop 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 go ahead and add your cilantro to your bowl and let's clean up the board and we'll work on our green onions now I want to cut the green onions on a very long bias in a sense so I want to cut them really exaggerated angle here and nice and thin so it all matches up nicely with your slaw. Okay. Just going to do this green part at the top. As you can see here, that's what it looks like. Okay. And I need about a half a cup. So here's my half cup measure. And there you go. Right in the pot, I should say, bowl. All right, there you go. All right, next we're gonna do the limes. My little lime squeezer, lemon lime squeezer. Go ahead and juice them. Now this is the kind of cool part, is this what is what connects it to a taco? in my mind. So I'm doing an Asian style taco, but I still have this sort of, um, you know, Mexican twist to it by using lime and green onion and cilantro. Well, green onions and Asian dishes, of course, as well, but this is gonna be super awesome. All right, so what we wanna do is go ahead and add this dressing to it, okay? Throw all that sesame seed in there. Now, technically the sesame seed could just be added to the slaw mixture. It doesn't have to be in this bowl, but I did it the day before, so I threw it all in there at the same time. Let's go ahead and give this a mix. I'll tell you one thing, it smells great. I mean, it smells really good. This should be so tasty with that Korean barbecue sauce and chicken. I'm so excited to try it all together. And again, I'm using flour tortillas today instead of corn. I think the flavor profile would go better with flour. So that's what I'm doing. I also picked up some queso fresco to add to it as well. Okay, now I suggest what you do with this is you just leave it out at room temperature and let it just marinate. Mix it from time to time, but you're pretty much ready to go for your tacos. That looks so good. All right, I'm just gonna go ahead and let that set, and I'm going to work on my chicken. All right, let's go ahead and cut that chicken from the grill outside. And because I have my other vegetables diced, I'm gonna dice my chicken the same, okay? Now this is just done, so it actually is a little bit more cooked than I'd like it to be exactly, but you know, honestly, it's, it looks really good, so I'm just gonna go ahead and wing it here. Cut them pieces up. Okay, just throw them back on this tray. 
put it back on the tray. I'm not putting it in the pan right away because I want to start my vegetables first to get them sauteed a little bit before I, I throw the chicken in because the chicken is pretty much cooked. And your chicken is finished. And this is ready to go into the pan when you get that uh, vegetable started. So we'll get the camera over to the stove and start that vegetable cooking. All right, guys, I'm going to do a recap on our Korean barbecue chicken tacos that we made. So as you notice, I'm wearing a different shirt today because when I was doing my video, I actually lost my audio toward the end of it. It's a little bit of a glitch that I had with the camera and I didn't realize it until after I was completely done filming the end of my video. And the reason why, so these are the, um, ZV cameras from Sony and this is the ZV-1 and I have the ZV-1 Mark II. That's the one I'm filming with right now. It has a couple buttons at the top here and one of them, if you push it, it basically goes into a slow mode, uh, slow motion mode a little bit, right? But you lose your audio and I didn't realize I'd push that. Um, so that's the differences between these cameras. You gotta be really careful where your fingers are going. But that's what happens when you are the producer, videographer, director, and editor all in one. So <laughs> things happen. It was kind of interesting. But anyway, that's why my part of that video you'll see has got captions toward there. That part of it when I was cooking my chicken on the stove with my vegetables. That's why that's got music to it. So anyway, that's what happened. Anyway, I hope the video was easy enough for you to follow along with. I gave you all the information that you needed. The Asian slaw with the tacos were absolutely, it was fantastic, really good. I'll give you a couple um, things on the, the actual marinade that I did. So I've got rice vinegar and I got marin. Now, if you don't have both of these, that's okay. Just double up the amount for one or, one or the two of them. That's what I would do, okay? Uh, the other thing is uh, fish sauce. I know people think, oh my God, fish sauce, it must taste really fishy. Honestly, when you add it to something, it tastes really good. On itself, it's not great. It's kind of nasty. But when you mix it in with something, it really changes and enhances the flavor of what you're making. Sesame oil, you can choose whatever type you want. I happen to have this one. Um, and then the Korean barbecue sauce, which I use. This one I got from an Asian market. This is the sweet and savory brand or a variety. They have a lot of different ones. They have spicy ones. So you could really twist this up a bit if you want to try some of the other ones out there. Now, the other part I want to add to this Korean barbecue sauce. If you want to shorten up your cooking time, you might want to cut this down to a half a cup instead of one cup that I used. When you use one cup, you get a lot of liquid and it takes quite a bit longer for it to reduce down to get thick. I would say it probably took me about close to 30 minutes of cook time to get it down. So if you want a quicker meal, maybe a little less flavorful into the chicken, or maybe it'll be just perfectly fine, you could reduce this down to a half a cup. It came out fantastic. And I'm going to post a photo at the end of this video so you can see what my meal looked like when we were uh, serving it up. And then soy sauce too, you can choose whatever type you want. I have been using some Chinese soy sauce lately it's quite different than Kikomen, which is Japanese. But you guys, whatever you got in your house, that's what I would use. All right, so anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope it was easy enough for you to follow. 
Again, I had a glitch in the audio, so hopefully it's fine to look through the audio um, or the video with that audio missing and just some music to it. But uh, I really appreciate you guys that have been viewing my videos. Please give me comments if you want to see anything different or you have a question regarding the video or any information you'd like to add to the video. That would be appreciated. Uh, hit that notification bell. Ding, 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 ding. Give me some thumbs up if you really like the video. And um, please subscribe. Uh, subscriptions are free. It doesn't cost you anything to subscribe. It just gives you a notification when videos are being re released. Um, otherwise, I thank you guys all that have been viewing my videos up to this point. I hope you've been enjoying them. And uh, otherwise, Chef Leroy, and out. Mm -hmm.